I just feel so badly about this. It's a shame that, uh, you know, what's happened to it. I just think it's real sad and scary, too, that someone could even think of this kind of crime. Today, the outrage of a city went nationwide. I'd stand him a little bit to the left because the trees are directly behind you there. First to arrive was Good Morning America, who dispatched a field producer to set the scene for Barbara Walters. And just after 8.30, one of the country's most famous interviewers voiced one of Austin's most asked questions. Who would want to murder a tree? On the receiving end was city forester John Gerditis. By now, he's well prepared for this role. I had a call Friday from Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. Uh, there have been people here from Philadelphia, uh, California, all these people interviewing me. Washington Post has been down. It is a national story now. People really are concerned about this tree and what it represents. Indeed, Good Morning America was quickly followed by crews from CBS, NBC, and ABC. Why the sudden interest? Yeah, it was in the New York Times, and all the networks are responding to that. In many ways, Treaty Oak is more symbolic of America than any structure or monument. Because before there were buildings and streets and TV cameras, there was this magnificent tree. This is a legacy of our land. Just why? I just keep asking myself, why? Tonight, this city's sorrow, this daily drama, will unfold before the eyes of a nation. Allenberg, KVU 24 Action News.